Howdy all, I'm Joshi, and I welcome you to Mart, where we take what you build, take it apart, and then take the piss. You may notice we're not completely ripping off Van anymore. We'll keep some aspects though, because I'm a lazy fuck. Anyway, today we'll be reviewing a Kieden Weschlax self mark, which is posted all over his G Plus page. Now, before I look at this, allow me to go over my method of reviewing, which involves a point system stolen from Venom, which I'm only keeping because I cannot get the point system phrase out of my head. Attributes that will be judged are the looks of the mark, the build of the mark itself, and concept ideas and story behind the mark. Each of these attributes can gain up to 5 points, leading to a final score that will be determined at the end of the video or somewhere close to FINAL the SCORES! Eh, no, 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 no. Anyways, let's do this shit and just a reminder. My opinion. Kids, this is what happens if you always eat your veggies. I hope you are now having second thoughts on finishing that plate of cauliflowers. Seriously though, this looks wrong. I mean, I can see it's tall and complex, but it looks so wrong! The proportions are all off and it seems like it was stacked just to go higher and higher and higher! As one can notice from this literal stack of Toa Metro chest plates on his lower torso. What are you looking at me for? I only added one! The creator also added several images to show how tall his mark is, comparing it with Kardas, Rudaka, and Takanuva from 08. I mean, good job on stacking, but dude, you know, actually I'll get back on that later. And what I said about the proportions, they are really off for a humanoid mark. The torso seems longer than the legs, and the arms are kinda shortish, while the left one is really fucking thin. Also, the way the torso basically is a stick and then at the shoulders becomes broader than a truck and cluttered in accessories is really, really off-putting. I mean, I'm happy that at least some consistent color scheme exists of silvers, reds, and black. Uh, heck, we even have the back armored. Well, that gives me a hard time seeing the torso build. Sad. This mock is also packed with random accessories like scrawl blades on its right arm, the axe head on its left arm, an added thornax launcher, an added rotuka launcher, a glowing eye stock. <gasps> Solek! Chill, dude! The build is. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what is supporting core build and what is only an accessory. But I can see that many parts of this mock's body are custom built, like the arms and the legs, and certainly also the torso, and as it stands, it can stand. I mean, it looks pretty stable on its legs, despite the weight distribution being very top favoring. There are also some functions, such as the blades on the right arm being flippable, the Rotuka launcher, and a detachable right hand and axe, which can swing about on his tube piece that is wrapped around the arm. Unfortunately, most of those functions require a short rebuilding of the arm or the chest. We also have a different take on the custom hand, which is nice. Always good to have a change every now and again. Not making a hand pump today. Nope. I'm also intrigued by the leg design with two Avmatoran arms acting as support in the hips. Kinda reminds me of Ikorax. God, I wish I bought that set back then. And now, for the concept, ideas, and backstory. Oh boy, oh boy. This is when I'd usually flash up a picture of the backstory, or something that contains the mock's backstory, and scroll over it, but I tried making a screen cap. My browser won't allow me to zoom out that much that the post would fit on one screen cap. Trust me, it's unadulterated Mary Sue. This guy has written down an entire novel on how his character is so fucking strong. And everyone loves him. Looking at this, I would suspect this person has the urge to be loved and accepted, yet also wants to be the best at something, if not everything. 
He built a mock that overshadows some of the largest titans and wrote a fucking story that makes this character so OP. We decided to exclude him from Solekian RPs. My diagnosis here is wanting to stand out way too badly. I mean, you can only compensate for your penis so much. Anyway! The basic backstory is that this is Vazon somewhere who absorb beings with some power and those beings together with Vazon formed a new consciousness which named itself Vazolak. So yeah, this is essentially a Vazon mock. How can you tell? Well, it has the mask of life Vazon had and his color scheme. Anything else? Nah, that'll do. I mean, you can see some features of the old Vazon, like a big silver chest plate and the Metro chest piece as crotch armor, which has evolved and spread up his belly like out of control pubic hair. The concept may have been an okay idea, but it's just so fucking cringy. Good Solek! Final scores! In terms of appearance, this mock gets a 2.5 out of 5. It's a clusterfuck of silver armor that turns broader the further you go up, and seems like there was just stuff slapped on until the creator ran out of parts. The build gets a... 4 out of 5. It's trying to be complex, and it achieves that. Problem is an overcomplexity in the build, to a point where you don't know what belongs where, and what is necessarily a component of the build, and what's just an accessory. And the concept... That's a 1 out of 5. I mean, okay, we all can make a powerful character, whether on accident or intentionally. But don't, don't make a Mary Sue. Don't ever look at what you write and think, that's, that's good for a character. Yeah, writing he's fucking godlike is good for my character. Doesn't have weaknesses, doesn't need him. All, all strengths. Don't ever do that. Please, I'm not a professional writer, but I do enjoy a good story. This gives us a final score of 7.5 out of 15. No more comments here. And if you have anything better to offer and want me to review it, post it somewhere where I check a lot, like Bionicle.com's gallery or the TTV message board's LEGO creation section. Alternatively, you might want a better reviewer, like Venom, to do it. I'm gonna leave you a link to him down there, not like you already know Venom at this point. And I'm gonna go for a drink. Whiskey on the Clorox sounds good about now. <laughs>